With this one, I think it will be a smart decision to put on my ring because I am married, happily married. Because you know what's funny? My wife probably only watches 5% of my YouTube. She really, she don't ever really watch any of my YouTubes, but she's going to find a way to watch this one. Bet you. And she absolutely hate this shirt. I think she washed it like 50 times so it can like fade. But don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> well, beautiful people, come in closer. Let me get my deep voice, my radio voice. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lando Success. And sometimes she don't need your name to get down and dirty on the plane. Let's get into it. Black Rose, Black Rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh. Black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh. Black rose, black rose, black rose, black. So as a heterosexual male in this industry, right? Especially when I get in, it was very rare. So you put a single straight guy in this industry, you're gonna have a lot of guys, a lot of guys. Shit, when I first started, I did have a lot of guys trying to hit on me, but that's a that's a whole nother video. Now, the passengers that used to hit on me the most was always older white women. I don't know what it was. I got some chocolate, bald headed. And even when I wasn't bald headed, that was that was my thing. Older white women, they completely hit on me all the time. I just let it be what it is, you know. But anywho, let me get right to the story. So I get my drink. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm on the plane one day. I'm working. We're going to say I am going to El Paso, right? I'm going to El Paso. We say Houston to El Paso, then El Paso back to Houston. So I get to El Paso and we board the plane. Everything is cool. I'm working FA1. FA1, you're handling first class and FA2, you basically handling all the people in the back, right? So it's a regular flight. I take care of first class. Everything is good. Now, this is actually not my first time a passenger tried to hit on me on that level on the plane, but this is the most craziest story, right? So the chick was sitting in, we'd say 8C, right? So she wasn't in first class, but she was like two rows away from first class. So as I walked the cabin, you know, to go do trash, go help out, whatever it is, it was this, just my luck, it's actually a plane. <laughs> so it's a Mexican lady. Me encanta Mexican chicas, right? So you boy know a little bit of Spanish, whatever it is, right? So as I'm walking to do trash, she grabbed my arm like you should give me that one that one of the little grabs. She's like, oh, excuse me. You're very handsome. I'm like, oh, you know, thank you. You know, appreciate it. Blah, blah. She was like, yo, what type of alcohol do you guys have on a plane? I'm like, hey, we got Jack. We got this. We got all of that. She's like, yo, can I get a Jack? I'm like, all right, cool. I got you. Right. So I go get the Jack, give it to her. She paid. She's extra friendly. I didn't think too much into it. I know she was like flirting with your boy, but. You know, as you see all this, I, she is flirting with your boy, but I ain't think too much into it. So I'm back in the front. She actually pressed the call button. You hear the big old ding sign, you know, the sign you hear when you're on a plane. And since I was closest to her, I just was like, hey, you know, uh, flight attendant, I'll go get it because it's only a few rolls. So she was like, hey, can I get another jack? And I want your number. I'm like, oh, you know, that's crazy. You want my number? And I, I'm just, I'm literally just acting like the the girl in the situation it's like oh my god you, you want my number that's that's crazy let me let me go get you a jack so i'm i'm all on that because she you know she wasn't fully my type you know well you know I, I was good so i come back to give her a jack and the plane is completely open really now she was sitting close to the aisle but she scooted over and she did one of these like sit down now you know me on the plane I'm YOLO. After I done did my job, I'm like, what up? So I sit in the seat. So we talking. She's like, hey, you know, blah, blah. You and really... Actually, I don't even think she cared if I was in a relationship. But all I remember now, I am paraphrasing with this story. Because I ain't going to keep all the details, but I'm going to give you the main tea. So she just straight cut into me now. At this point, I she slurred her words, but I only gave her two drinks, right? Just two little minis. And she looked at me and was like, have you ever had sex on a plane? <laughs> you know like it's the person dream everybody dream want to join the mile high club no i have not had sex on the plane but you know i'm like hey so i laugh it off and i'm like no i haven't had sex on the plane you know just flirting with her a little bit actually uh, actually i don't work for the airline no more so yeah i was flirting with her a little bit so she was like let's do it and grab my hand <laughs> 
<laughs> you trying to do too much. Eh, let me get up out of this seat and let me. I'm so I'm like, ooh, I'm out of here. So at this point, I'm like, oh yeah, she wants the D. It ain't no if ends or buts. She cut into me, and I'm like, you know it. The male in me, it did cross my mind. I'm like, dang, how would I be able to get away with this? So I thought about it, but she wasn't my type, and I wasn't about to lose my job trying to go bang somebody in the laboratory. That's just not what we're going to do, but it crossed my mind. Why not? So I'm hiding up front at this point. I got my curtain, everything. I'm probably reading the book, doing whatever I'm doing. I swear on everything I love, all I hear is, she come in and and close the curtain. And the thing is, it was like a stumble in there. So she was completely inebriate, inebriated. She inebriated, inebriate. As a flight attendant, you can't say nobody drunk. You got to say they're under influence. But since I'm a flight attendant, she was drunk. So she stumbled herself in there and she was like, let's go into the lab now. I'm like, ma'am, you need to go have a seat. Because at this point, it's not really funny because you're completely under the influence and this is this can go all the way bad. Like, no, we're, we're not about to do this. Go to your seat. So she's grabbing on me, like literally grabbing on me. Like, come on, like, ma'am, sit your ass down, yo, like chill. So I'm like, sent our salad. So she's like, oh, OK, you know, no, that's been yo, Bobby Julo. I'm like, yeah, I do. Go sit down, dog. So I get her to go sit down. I go tell the other flight and I'm like, yo. Passenger 8C, she wants the D. And it was like, you talking about, oh, girl, the Mexican chick? I'm like, yeah, you know, I only gave her two drinks. It's like, no, she got two drinks with me also. Oh, no. Hey, it was me. I was like, <laughs> like, oh, no. So, you know, like when you're like walking the aisles, it's like, so you don't have too much room. So every time I'm walking past her, it's like a video game where she's just like literally trying to grab me. So I'm like doing one of these I'm like, all right, whatever, bro. So we land the plane. I swear on everything. We land the plane. Everybody get off the plane. She is the last one out cold. Like literally like these. Like she's all the way out cold. So we like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. She's not budging. She's done for. Like, I'm like, dang, you know, I'm like, dang, this could have went bad. You know, if I would have did something, this is like a a bad case that's about to happen like this is this is terrible right so i'm like ma'am 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 so we trying to get her up we get her up and she fall i'm like bro this crazy stuff always happened to me yo <laughs> so she fall now unfortunately i know some of you guys are thinking like lander did you get any of it on camera actually i did actually actually i did i did record some of it, but i'm not going i would never do that put her business out there whatever it is because story ain't over right <laughs> Actually, still got some of this footage right. I actually forget. We got to pause. Press that like button. Press the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. That's some housekeeping. Me giving y'all this good tea, this story time. Well, I'm going to hear my wife's stuff because she's going to be asking about the time dates and stuff like that. Actually, she's not. She really don't care. But press that like button and subscribe button. So at this point, the captain like, yo, we need to call assistance to come get her because we can't do nothing. So they call like the, I don't know if we call it the police or ground security they basically call like the authorities to come get it right so she finally get up and all she's saying is somebody call my husband can somebody call my husband oh lord actually i said that wrong it was somebody was asking who is she there for and she was like my husband and somebody like and they like yo give me your husband number so we can tell him to come help you but yeah, so that was the time somebody tried to have sex with me on the plane. It didn't go out. It didn't work successfully for that young lady. She had one too many drinks. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is story time. If you like it, let me know if you want some more stories because I have tons of them. The last one I did had good responses. So I told you guys I would do another one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And once again, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Just because you don't know her name doesn't mean it won't go down on a plane. I'm Lando Success, and I'm out.